So today we cover internal forces, chapter seven. Basically, it's just like method of sections for a truss, but now we're doing a method of section inside of a beam. We're only going to do it in 1D. When you get to solid mechanics, you'll do it in 3D. Okay, but uh, what are the internal loadings developed in a member? And we'll do one-dimensional members like in a beam, just like I mentioned. And if we get to it today, we'll do shear and moment diagrams and equations so graphically. But this definitely is in solid mechanics. So take a beam. What type of support for the beam is that A? How would you describe that support? Fixed. Fixed. Yeah, it's fixed support. And we have a load here. We have a load P out here at the tip. And we're going to come in and we're going to cut and think about what's happening at section B in the middle of the beam. That's not a pinned connection between two members, but it's actually inside the beam. So what you typically do when before you look and do a, a section, that's what this blue line is showing at B, you do it, you would solve for the supports. So you would do a free body diagram of the entire system. If this is a load P, you'd come in and you would have maybe a supporting AX, maybe a supporting AY, and then I probably would put M sub A that way to help support the load. Make sense? And we would solve for those three. Then what we do is we develop a new free body diagram of the section, which is A to B. Okay. Well, you would still have the support AX, AY, and M sub A. But what do you have at that cut? You're going to have three things. You're going to have a normal force, a shear force, and a bending moment. And so it, it's just like what you had at this fixed support. You had something AX. That would be like a normal force. You'd come in and you'd put the normal at this cut B. And you'd put a shear force. you put a shear force. V is the... Uh, the uh, adopted syntax or notation N and V of B and then you would put in a bending moment and th the bending moment is here M sub B now if you you can take and do a section free body diagram going from let's say B out to this was not named but let's call it C B to C, and you would have the load P on it, and then equal and opposite, you would have the internal N sub B, that normal force at the cut B. You would have the shear force V sub B, equal and opposite, so they're consistent between the two free body diagrams, and then the bending moment M sub B. All right, so what we could do then is solve for what's happening inside. What's the internal loading? And we're only going to do one-dimensional beams, just introductory purposes, not 3D, where you have torsion. Okay, so from this problem, it's very, very simple. You can think of P, then uh, with the distance, I didn't even give the distance in this illustration, L would then give you the AX and AY and M sub A reaction. Then when you did the free body diagram of the section A to B, uh, it's really easy because if, if, if AX is this way, then you can do the sum of the forces in the X and you find that N sub B is equal to negative AX. Is that right? Can you do that pretty fast now? Is that true? Is N sub B equal to negative AX? Yeah. And then how about for the sum of the forces in the Y? We have AY up, and then we have minus VB because it's down equal to zero. Or you could just rewrite VB is equal to AY. 
And then what about the sum of the moments? I need to scoot down a little bit. <coughs> so this, this is our X equation for equilibrium, our Y equation, sum of the forces in the Y. And then we do the sum of the moments. Now, this is my recommendation when you're going to go and you're going to make a section and you're going to cut through the member. My recommendation is always pick the cut location to do the sum of the moments. So I would say that the third equation would be the sum of the moments at the cut point B is equal to zero. It's a little tricky on the notation because I look at it and I have um, M sub A making it want to go in the counterclockwise. I'll have negative A sub Y times this distance. I don't know what this distance is. XB times that moment arm distance XB. Okay. And AX doesn't induce a moment about that point B. But this right here does. It's our bending moment at B. And it also is in the positive counterclockwise m sub b sum of those equal to zero whenever you write this equation it's like okay this is my general equation the sum of the moments at any particular point i'm going to choose point b must be equal to zero and then you write it out and you have mb in the equation see the possible confusion i thought you said mb is zero no don't forget the sum the sum of the moments about that point b is equal to zero and then there is a moment applied at B. It's the bending moment. All right. Hopefully that's not confusing. Then you can solve for M sub B. So you can solve for the, the normal, the shear, and the bending moment. Okay. Again, here's our sign convention. So if you're looking here at the cut at this point, here they're labeling it point C. Then you have the shear force down on the member to the left of it. I'd put V sub C if there was more than one cut. The normal force pulling away. And then the bending moment. And the bending moment, I like to say that the bending moment tends to compress the top and stretch or put in tension the bottom, and that's very, very common in civil engineering and other applications where you put a load on a horizontal member and what happens to the bottom? It's in tension and the top is in, of that member is in compression. So tension and compression. So the, this is the top of the member and this would be the bottom. And that's consistent with the sign convention. And if you look at the other side, okay, the normal's pulling away. The shear force is up to be consistent with the shear force down on the member to the left. And then the bending moment is going to be M sub C. And here again, this is the top of the beam. And the top is in compression with that positive bending moment. And the bottom would be in tension. Again, we don't get into beams. That's the next class, right? with more analysis of, of what's happening in beams. All right, let's solve some problems. <clears throat>